Hello everyone, this is Xperce Johnny here, and this is the Russian Tier 4 Premium Cruiser Crash Micram. You can get hold of this ship in the Warship Store for 187k Global XP. And in this video, I'm going to show you if, or give you my opinion on the ship, is it really worth purchasing. So, the upgrades that I use on my Crash Micram, there's only one, is Aiming System Mod 1. Loadout, so consumables. You get damage control party, then you get sonar, so the detectability of torpedo is 2.7, detectability of ships is 3.7, then consumer duration is 90 seconds, reload time is 171 seconds, normal consumables are 2. Stats of the ship, hit points 25,100, armor thickness between 6mm to 125mm thick, um, artillery, Main battery you get 15 times 1, 130mm 55B7s with a firing range of 6.8 kilometers, reload time of 7.3, 180 turning time is 22.5, HE shells, maximum HE shell damage is 1976, with a chance of set fire is 11%, AP shells, maximum AP shell damage is 2625. Secondary ar armament, you get 2 times 3, 100mm 50 machine guns with a firing range of 4.2, reload time is 5 seconds, HE shell damage for the secondary battery is 1400 with a chance of setting fire is 9%. Torpedoes, you get 3 times 2, 533mm triple 39 U's with a reload time of 70 seconds, 180 turning time is 6 seconds, maximum damage is 13,200, torpedo detectability by sea is 1.3 kilometers, torpedo range is 5 kilometers, torpedo speed is 65 knots. AA defense, you get 4 times 1, 12.7 millimeter disc, I can't pronounce that, sorry, average damage of 14, firing range of 1.2 kilometers, then you get 12.7 Vickers, 2 times 4 of them, with an average damage of 4, with a fire range of 1.2 kilometers. Then you get 10 times 1, 37mm, 70Ks, with average damage of 57, with a fire range of 3.2 kilometers. Then you get 3 times 2, 100mm, 50 machine guns, uh, with average damage of 14, with a fire range of 4 kilometers. Movability, maximum speed of this ship is 29.9 knots, turning circle radius is 590 meters, rudder shift time is 7.2, concealment 11.8 kilometers by sea, then detectability by air is 7.4, then guaranteed detectability 2, then detectability by throwing smoke is 5.6. Armor fitness, I'll show you that now, let's take a bit off. So, bound stern is between 25 millimeters to 75 millimeters thick. Structure is 50 mm thick. Gun casement sides are 25 mm thick. So the auxiliary room arm is 25 mm thick. Then the citadel is 25 mm thick. So the citadel on this ship is um, pretty bad. Um, oh, I haven't showed you overall. Overall, she's a fast ship. She has a, a high amount of guns, so she can get a lot of shells off in the air. But she's unwidely, so um, I think that's unwildly, sorry. So she, her rudder is pretty slow for the tear. Um, this is my captain, what I use, Nikolai Kudisov, with Francis Mimel Belai as inspiration, and uh, Alex and uh, and Andrew Rue. So it's beyond the range, igniter, punch through, fixated, and refill station. That's what I use on my build. And then jump in the battle and show you what this ship's like. So a bit of history about the Crash McCram. The Crash McCram was a light cruiser for the Soviet Navy. She was laid down in 1913 as Slitlana for the Imperial Russian Navy. The lead ship of her class, but she was renamed. The ship was built by the Russian Russian Baltic Shipyard in Tallinn, Est Estonia and was launched in 1915. So we're on Ring Capture the Base. So it's a tier 4, tier 5. A bit more about the history. The ship was completed. Um, oh, sorry. The, her hull was evacuated to um, Petrograd when the German approached the port in late 1917 in World War One. 
she were, and she was laid up incomplete during the Russian Revolution. The ship was completed by the Soviets in 1926. During World War II, she supported Soviet troops the siege of Oblansk and the siege of Slip Slitultony, I can't pronounce that, in the winter of 1941-42. Then, the ship was rewarded the guard's title on the 18th of June 1942. And the ship was classified as a training ship in November 1954 before being scrapped in July 1959. So she served quite a long career with the Soviet, with the Russian Navy. Later, the Soviet Navy. So the Kreshmi Krem. What's the Kreshmi Krem like then? Uh, basically, she's got the same armor as the uh, Marblehead. I think it's called Marblehead. The premium American Tier Four as well. So you can easily sit down this ship pretty easily. We're spotted up already, so there must be a DD around here. So my aim this battle is just to protect the base. So we've got two hits on the Emerald there. Um, there's a battleship over the back there, Congo. So has all battleships been spotted? Yeah, three battleships have been spotted. So we're trying to move into a position on this map because I spawned right in the middle. It's the only uh, problem. So I could charge down the middle and play daring if I wanted to. But do I really see the point in doing that? Probably not. Just want to AP then if the Cunnies Bird can come around to the side. But we need to watch out for the secret of Cunnies Bird does have tuck guns for, for tier 4. There's one sitter down. There's 2,521 damage, it's going to turn to put my stern towards it. There's the other two sit down. I was using the chase up and get away with it. So we've got three citadels in that Ginsberg, 17k damage. So I'm spotted by um, some sort of ship, maybe a DD. Probably is a DD because uh, two of them hasn't been spotted this game so far. Wouldn't surprise me. There's the Emerald. So let's slow down. You never know, I might actually hit us. They're probably going to hit the island to be honest. Yeah, so we've done 9. So there's a DD. There we go. Put some armor on so we can set torpedo. There's the tool. So it's got one detected I think here at the moment. Get out the base. Uh, Charge the base again. So once we're undetected, the Fubuki won't know where we're coming from. We still have sonar. Still detected by, oh, the Texas is keeping us detected, so we've got to uh, rush this base fast. Hang on a minute, there's a second British one in this base. That's where both British are. Then. Oh, so just playing it, trying to play it safe here. There we go. A cast Let's push this um, for Vuki now. Hang on a minute, all three 
All three destroyers are in the base. Light some out from your team at this moment in time. Right, so we're probably going to try and take this Fubuki out first. Try to survive as well. As in that, turn around and try to get rid of this Jaguar. As the face Beth defended, double strike. Oh, that was a bit tense. <laughs> so we killed all three destroyers there. So. It's the Emerald left. Congo charging through the middle. And there's a duck there as well. So with this map, with this game now, it's just playing defensive. Well, we have been playing defensive for the most of the game, to be honest with you. So, just finding. And I, I need to watch what I'm doing as well, because I've only got 1,156 health now. And I don't know where this Congo's going. Why is he in rage? You can almost get shells off. Never mind, set more fires. So, with this shit, is it worth it? It's just. Really, I just play it like my Marvel head. I've got the Marvel head, so. I just play it like that. Uh, just. Stay at range as much as possible. Because once you get close, close quarters, a lot of. Uh, a lot of ships do out from there. Not clash here. So you need to be careful what you're doing. Oh, I've got a kill there. That's four kills. Try and get the cracking, eh? Just stay at range. That's the, that's the plan what I'm doing here. Stay at range as much as possible. The maximum range that Congo is. Uh, try and get a little bit closer, but now I'm detected by aircraft, so I need to watch what I'm doing. I think that Congo's going to move forward now. Just need to uh, go undetected again. Yeah, because I'm trying to avoid this island. I think the Congo was dead. Don't think they're gonna hit. Well, they're hitting. What you see if we can actually set a fire. No, that's two fires. Don't put them out, please. I think he's going to put them out to be honest. Done 60k so far, it's going up slowly. Um, Shell's probably not going to go that island. Oh, I've got the Kraken, sweet! So we've got 5 kills. Sweet. So we've probably come up the top of the team here. Eh? Crush me cram. 63,310. Come top on the team with a base XP of 2,654. So basically, we killed all three destroyers. We finished off Emerald, and we did get a lucky, lucky two fires on the Congo, and then our teammates did try, and, you know, did chip it down. We got the fire. But yeah, to be honest with you, my viewpoints on the Kreshmi Krem. If you know how to play cruisers, it is a good ship to get. It's just like a marblehead. 
if you know how to play that correctly you just stay at range just defend your base at all costs and um, yeah do not get close i know the torpedoes are five kilometers and they do good damage but if you get close you do have no armor a lot of the battleships will overmatch your armor so yeah that's the end of the video anyway so if you like what you see please like subscribe and leave feedback on the video and i'll catch you next time see ya